1922, the only grandparent that I would ever know came to Mexico, came to the United States from Mexico. She wasn't a rapist or a murderer. She was a six-year-old orphan. But as a girl, she walked past storefront signs that read, no dogs or Mexicans allowed. Her life wasn't easy, and she didn't always feel welcome. But she never stopped believing in America's sacred promise that her sacrifices would be rewarded with opportunity for herself and her family. She kept up her part of that promise by working her whole life babysitting, cooking, and cleaning houses. And the fact that her grandson is standing here on this stage tonight is proof that America kept its promise, too. Four years ago, my brother Julian stood on this stage in Charlotte. He and I know that our story is not unique. This room is filled with many proud Americans who can tell similar stories about their own families. Great grandchildren of Irish immigrants who came to cities like New York and Boston and saw signs that read, no Irish need apply, and just worked harder. Grandchildren of Americans who suffered in World War II internment camps, the same camps that Donald Trump has defended and grew up to be business owners, war heroes, and public servants. Children of immigrants who have contributed to our country as doctors, police officers, and guess what? even impartial judges. Their story is our story. It's America's story. And make no mistake, the hero of that story is never the one who sides with hate. The hero of that story will never be Donald Trump. Americans know that the choices he offers are false ones. See, in America, prosperity is not a zero-sum game. We can create millions of new jobs and still raise a minimum wage. National security is not a zero-sum game. We can keep America safe and still welcome the next generation of immigrants without a religious litmus test. And justice is not a zero-sum game. We can back our brave men and women in blue and still believe that black lives matter. These aren't zero-sum games. In fact, they aren't games at all. But do you know how many plans Donald Trump has to accomplish these things? Zero. While Donald Trump is talking about building walls, Hillary Clinton is working to build an infrastructure of opportunity, a way for Americans to get to where they want to go in life. Great schools to prepare us for college and career, a strong health care system, and I don't care what Donald Trump or Ted Cruz or anybody else says, the Affordable Care Act is here to say because it saved millions of American lives. And an economy where no one who works full-time and works hard lives in poverty. Republicans would have you believe that creating opportunity means giving tax breaks to corporations and the super wealthy. Well, I've met a lot of Americans in my life, and no one has ever told me that their ancestors came here looking for the lowest corporate tax rate. The promise of America is much bigger than that. And there's room in it, there's room here for everyone. Donald Trump isn't going to keep that promise. He's not even going to try. But Hillary Clinton and Tim Kaine will. That's why I'm asking all of you to go to IWillVote.com. Make sure you're registered to vote. Make sure that the next chapter of our great American story is written by us. My grandmother believed that America was the greatest nation in the world. And I'm with Hillary so that our grandkids will believe the same thing, too.